Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. We're going to be working on this Husqvarna 42 inch tractor riding mower and we're going to be changing out the blades and also the cover that is for the mulcher and so I'll show you all the tools, supplies, and know-how on how to do this project in this video. Here are the tools and the supplies that you're going to need. We're going to be using this Husqvarna kit which comes with two uh, blades that total 42 inches and it also comes with a cover right here for mulching and kind of an assembly pack uh, this mower had this kit on here and uh, then it was accidentally thrown away uh, during a move so we're just gonna go ahead and install this with some of the assembly that's already there uh, but it is important to make sure you get mulching blades if you do want it to mulch um, and we want to make sure we torque it down to the right specs so we will make sure we use a torque wrench and those torque specs do say it's supposed to be 45 to 55 foot pounds so i'm going to go ahead and make it 50 foot pounds of torque on there um it is a uh, 9 16 you'll want to ratchet as well um, i like to keep things in a magnetic tray just so they don't go rolling around the driveway uh if you don't have a mower ramp uh, you can actually use just a little car jack uh, this is the one I normally keep in my truck in case I'm ever on the side of the road because it just works well. And a uh, just a big piece of wood to help it keep it from rolling back as you're doing this project. You may want some paper towels and some gloves because you don't know exactly what it's going to look like underneath. Here are the rest of the tools. You're going to want a small piece of wood that you can kind of jam in and hold the blades from turning. Um, you're also probably going to want a breaker bar. That is really helpful with this. Uh, 9 sixteenths to really be able to get the torque you need a flathead or sorry a Phillips screwdriver so you can tighten down that mulching part if you want to take off this you will need some kind of pliers to be able to get it off you also have the option of using some kind of bungee cord and drilling a small hole that's about the size of that so you can go ahead and put it in there and hold it up if that's what you want to do if you do that you will need a drill that is just a touch bigger than the, your your bungee whatever size that is so go ahead and grab one of these and put it on the opposite side in the back as we jack this uh, mower up we are going to want to make sure it doesn't roll back in my driveway go ahead and take this jack stand and we're going to put it back here to where we have the ability. And you probably can't see that very well. Let me go ahead and turn the steering wheel. So we're going to put your jack right down under here to begin to lift this mower up. And you just saw it roll back a touch. Uh, that's why we go ahead and put that under there. I'm going to go that about as high as it will let me. That should give us plenty of access down underneath there. So I'm really shocked. There's actually barely anything under this mower, uh, which is actually a good thing. Notice how the blades are. You're going to want to put them back in the same way. So, so it is 9 sixteenths. So go ahead and stick a piece of wood in here to kind of give you that extra support that you need to be able to break this loose. And these things are on their tight. So once you got that loose, you can go ahead and use your socket for the rest of it. We 
we'll go ahead and get that piece out. And there is the same star shape. Now you can see that's got some, some definite damage. And so um, on these, it will actually tell you the direction and it says grass side. So obviously that's gonna point down towards the grass. And the goal is to get that pretty lined up back on the star. Um, and it will kind of finish itself off as you're doing it, as long as you have it pretty lined up to start out with. And I'm just gonna go ahead and spin it on by hand just a little bit until we get it up to that point. And then really make sure it's correct and on there. So I'll go ahead and start tightening it down a little bit by hand like this. And then I chose to go at 50 foot pounds. So you can see it right there, 50 foot pounds. And then you are going to want to piece, put a piece of wood back and block it again. Same kind of concept. Sometimes easier said than done. Okay, there it is, that's your 50 foot pounds of torque. So that looks nice and neat on this side. Uh, we still have the other one to do in just a few seconds. So we're gonna go to the other side now. So same thing on this side. So the goal again is to go ahead and kind of block that the best you can with the blades, so then you have the ability to begin to break it. It does take a little bit of uh, forcing it, but it will go eventually. I do know some of the newer ones have little contraptions over this that have some plastic pieces that you'll have to physically take off before you get to this, but this is just what this mower had, so that's what you're seeing. They do change them up over time. Knock that out. And that nut and washer should begin to almost fall out. Just like that. So this one's pretty beat up as well. You can see it's definitely hit some trees and roots and all kinds of stuff like that. Same thing, go ahead and grab your new one. And it does say grass side down. So that's what you want. I do just go ahead and start this by hand and then when we get it up closer we will have the ability to find that star pattern. You want to make sure you're in that star pattern. And the other thing you'll want is to make sure these are on different sizes, like different sides. So remember kind of how you took it off and this was kind of the angle that we took it off at so that's the angle we do want to put that back on at. So now we want to seat that properly. I am having to do this mostly with my left hand and I am not left handed so it does make it a little more challenging.
Okay, now that's kind of down somewhat tight. I am just going to hit it a couple of times with this. And uh, then we'll go ahead and torque it down to spec in just a second. We'll need that piece of wood back. Fifty foot pounds of torque again. That click is what you want in here. And then you will also want to make sure that spin these freely. Make sure they're not going to hit. That would be very bad if those things hit. So you do want to double check that while you're under here and also do just a little bit of a visual inspection make sure your uh, deck isn't rusting out and things like that it's really important to kind of just look around make sure everything looks good as you're underneath it and have it jacked up so i'm going to take about a foot long bungee and uh, go ahead and tie it in on itself loop it around the the height just so i have clear access to this and then we'll go ahead and grab and get all our supplies. So this is where this is going to be living. Um, and so I will show you exactly how we go ahead and get that on there and get that properly seated so it does stay on there properly. So for this mall tree, you will want to follow the directions on here with exactly how to do this. So I will kind of walk you through these as well. And so you can go ahead and open up your bag of parts. And I would encourage you to go ahead and get a magnetic tray so they don't go rolling everywhere because there are a bunch of them and that will keep everything in order where it needs to be. And so we will show you kind of each step as we go through this. So we're going to go ahead and take this piece and we will begin to set up these on it. And so we will go ahead. We need to get a washer. A lock washer uh, then the weld nut goes on and it gets pushed in uh, then we have the locking nut and then the other washer so the locking nut Then we'll go ahead and kind of spin this on by hand just to get it started. And then finish it with a Phillips screwdriver. And so that is on there nice and tight. You do want it this direction so it can latch on. We'll go ahead and get this one too. It's going to be the exact same thing. Go ahead and push that down and on. Go ahead and put your Phillips screw in there. I'm going to hold it with my index finger on the back side. So you're going to go ahead and put your washer on. And then go ahead and put that little lock nut on. And then go ahead and put this on and begin to spin it on by hand. Do make sure it's this direction. That is really key. So as this thing's holding it down, it doesn't spin out. Flip it over. Hold with the index finger on the opposite side. And go ahead and tighten this down. And go ahead and kind of set that up into place. And we'll go ahead and begin to lock it in there and then same thing on this side and just to show you a little bit better camera angle of what I did there so it's down in on this side right here and that does help that little loop right there to be able to pull it and shut it same thing on this side it goes in right there 
and that right there is nice and secure. Now you can actually leave this thing like this. Um, there is ways you can take this off as well. Um, you can even put a hole in this if you want. You could get a drill and just put a drill right here. Uh, then that kind of holds that in place and keeps that up and it gives you actually a little bit better cutting area as well um, if you don't want to take it off if you do want to take it off you're going to probably have to get a flat head and knock this side out and then pull this pin um, there is a spring in there that's what helps push it down each time um, but this is also a pretty easy option and all i did was just use a drill find something that's just a touch bigger than that so you can go ahead and loop that in just like that and if that is annoying as you're driving um, you can do some other options but I think that does work pretty well right there and gives you a little bit better cut around your yard and you're able to actually mulch your yard which I think is better in the long run too let me also just go ahead and show you how you would take this off if this is what you want to do you'll need some kind of pliers like these be able to get this off the end and it just shot over there so I'll probably have to find it as I go back and then that would just come off just like that now you will want to make sure you put this back in here and lock it down properly for saving it if you ever want to put it back on in the future. All right, here's that little nut that just kind of goes on the side. And I actually kind of like this method better. I think it's going to give me a little bit cleaner cut too. If this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Please comment if you do have any questions. Thank you guys so much for watching.